Hey y'all, welcome to the Rob Squad's Home Theater. Thank you for tuning in for another film with us. This one feels like it's gonna be pretty special, but let us introduce ourselves before we get to that. You are here with your girl, Amber. And your boy, Jay. Like mom said, it's gonna be a special day. Tell them what we got going on. Guys, it's Veterans Day. So of course we wanna thank all of our military men and women who helped keep our country safe and just, you know, sacrifice their time while True on duty. heroes, no doubt about it. Today, guys, we are watching Black Hawk Down. Uh, the last Army movie we watched was Hacksaw Ridge. Oh, that and was so good. That had, That's probably my <laughs> number one you know military movie so that we have seen to this point yeah. and you guys in the comments of that one told us how great black hawk down is going to be so what better day to check it out than today but real quick if you guys are new here's a couple things we ask y'all to do guys go ahead and like the video subscribe to the channel turn on your post notification bell you'll get a notification every monday and friday when we post a film and we'll never miss out on watching some good movies together we are ready to check this out man like i like i said the last Highly the last one we did it was so suggested so you know, we love the Army movies, both of all. We have family members both that served in the Army. So, yeah. again, we want to thank all of you guys so much, the true heroes out there. But as we always say before we get started, grab your favorite drink, your favorite snack, and like let's check out some highly anticipated Black Hawk Down. Let's get it. Let's go. Oh, and I forgot to mention, they did say, like, this was based off a true story. It's like most of the military films. I feel like so, yeah. too. I don't think we have... Besides Saving Private Ryan. I don't think Saving Private was Was that one true? I thought, I think it was. Hmm. Only the dead have seen the end of war. Oh. Like, these are so gruesome movies, but they're so good. Like the army ones. Somalia, 1992. Years of warfare among rival clans causes famine on a biblical scale. 300 civilians die of 300,000. 300,000, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mohammed Farah Adib, the most powerful of the warlords, rules the capital. Mangadishu, I think it's what so said. said. He seizes international food shipments at the ports. Hunger is his weapon. That's terrible. That's sick. That's sick. He's just starving his people. Starving. The world responds behind a force of 20,000 U.S. Marines. Food is delivered and is ordered, and order is restored. Oh, look at these bodies. You see how hungry they were. Adid waits until the Marines withdraw and then declares war on the remaining UN peacekeepers. This dude's gnarly. So this was the month and year I was born. It took place at April 93. In June, Adid's militia and militia slaughtered 24 Pakistani soldiers who began targeting American personnel. Wow. In late August, America's elite soldiers, Delta Force Army Rangers, and the 160th SAR That guy was on a whole other level of sick. The mission was to take three weeks, but six weeks later, Washington was growing impatient. So they're going after the head dude, trying, trying to get him. Of course they have to, he's in complete control. Mm -hmm. Wow. Just twisted, holding food. Holding food. Water, everything. And then after food was delivered, he declared war on the rest of the peacekeepers. See, I've never even heard about this Adid guy. Weren't even born yet. <laughs> They're probably oh. so hungry just trying to get any type of food. Oh. I mean, I wouldn't expect any different of a reaction if they'd been without food for so long. <laughs> oh. Oh, They're shooting the people that are just trying to get food. Wow. Shoot, trying to get food. UN's jurisdiction 6-4, we cannot intervene, return to base. They can't intervene. Because of and they know that, that they can't do anything? Yeah, because of jurisdictions, I guess. There's just guns everywhere. Music 
music in this one's very different. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Wow. You want to talk about pull Look up at how the strategical <laughs> they just took him down. That was cool. Like that dude just didn't even seem phased about I it. Know. That was weird, huh? Yeah, he's unbothered, isn't he? Mm -hmm. He's militia. Mm -hmm. He has ties. So he's the supplier. Hey boys, ideas. And well, I wouldn't know about that. I'm from Texas. <laughs> 300,000 dead and counting. That's not a war, Mr. Ito. That's just... Yeah, real. yeah. You're starving them. Yeah, call it what it is. I agree. I'm just saying they've been calling for these dang situation reports every morning this week. Mm -hmm. Remember they said Washington was growing, like, mm -hmm. impatient. impatient. Yeah. And as always, the yeah. air sickness bags are located in the seat back in front. <laughs> like they're taking like a chill little yeah. flight. <laughs> a commercial flight. Right, a commercial flight. <laughs> Gotta find some way to keep good spirits with the type of work that the military mm, does. For sure. Right. Common uses. No, if it's not in the dictionary. Oh, he's saying limousine. Are you here, mate? Yeah, promises. Look at them with their legs just hanging. Typing. Can you type? <laughs> I bet that was a big deal in the 90s. There's always some young buck in a war movie that surprises you, right? He's got a lot more gumption than they suspect. <laughs> the way they maneuver this helicopter is just so cool. Like the takeoffs and landing, like it's just easy to like do. Like it's easy, yeah. I mean, they have trained so much training. Can I leave him with you? Can <laughs> yeah. I leave him with you? I'm rested. When'd you get in? Just now, Sergeant. He's eager, huh? Look at those wild hogs. Well, wow, that's cool. <laughs> did they shoot some? They did. <laughs> wild hogs are mean now, though. Go back and walk your second I can't believe they shot them. <laughs> They're eating them. That's like one of them Timon Pumbaa. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, natural. Everybody's eating good off of it, though. We're done here. Do you call them undisciplined cowboys? Mm, cowboys. <laughs> Texas. Speak up. <laughs> you say this is your safety. That sounds like We're a Texan Oklahoma. now. Undisciplined cowboy. I met plenty of them. <laughs> they. I'm not supposed to scare the living shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> Last week. You done? <laughs> oh, he's like writing a book and thinking of his daughter. <laughs> hey, I didn't see you at church on Sunday. Oh, they're clowning him. <gasps> not on Sunday, you don't. Not anymore. I will make you believe, you understand? Uh oh. Oh, look, he's gonna take the pin out. Oh, man. You can tell by everybody else started looking. Yeah, look, you can tell by his jaw. It's clean. She's ticked. Never mind again. You'll be cleaning the trains with your tongue, so you can't taste the difference between shit and friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to fight, Sergeant? Well, I think I was trying to make a difference. Oh. <laughs> That's, uh, uh, we watched that. Oh, the jerk? The jerk, yes. Oh, oh what's happening? Oh, stay back, stay back. Wilkie, he's, he's had. Oh, it's tough, 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 tough. Not in this army. Oh. He's out of the game. He's epileptic going home. Oh. Yeah, you can't, you can't have yeah, that. You can't have Caesars and be in the army. Okay. You got a problem with that? No, sir. Sorry, y'all here, Pip. Good luck, son. So now he's been put in like a, a head position. It's literally it's like a gun market. Right, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Talked about culture shock before. This looks, this looks wild. Same mission template as before. Fifteen forty-five. 
So they could get two main characters right now. Mission time from incursion to extraction no longer than 30 minutes. Oh so that God. all that's taking place in less than 30 minutes. We'll coordinate the air mission and I will coordinate ground forces. So they're like the choppers up with mini guns and rocket launchers. Once you're in the Bakara market, you're in an entirely hostile district. Yeah, it looks hostile. Guns. Good luck, gentlemen. I like them. Um, in these movies where we get to watch them make their plans and like how they're the whole gonna, operation. Like, yeah, how they're gonna execute this because they're so tactical. Everything has to be so well thought out. No, it's still dangerous in the air, but I get how yeah, it could be really scary going in on the ground. I get that. I don't know which one I'd rather do. I think, yeah, because if you get caught slipping in the air, there's really not much of an option. But on the ground, heck yeah, that's scary. I know this song. You back me up out there, all right? Keep sharp. It's crazy to me how they keep cool when they know they're about to go into such like a tough mm -hmm. mission. Like just out there shooting hoops. Some of them excited. Your wish has been granted. You're going out today. You're fucking me. He was just talking about all he got to do was make coffee. That's what you wanted, isn't it? Oh yeah. Looks scary. Looks so scary. <laughs> Generally speaking, Somalis can't shoot for shit. Don't worry about it. Just watch out for the Sammy Sona. I was about to say the Somalias that we the people we saw with the guns, they looked like they didn't know what they were doing. They were just firing. They were firing in the air. You, you know what I mean? Like yeah. no gun safety. <laughs> Not some sorry ass JROTC. <laughs> We're elite. He just looks so young. He does, doesn't he? We're gonna be okay. Alright, grab your gear, let's move out. He said we're Rangers and not some junior ROTC. Now I know my dad had to do ROTC when he was younger, like when he was still in high school or I don't know. And then they eventually when they're old enough they can go to the military. Right. think that's how it works drop down below let me know i just got so much respect for any military people like true bad a's man just remember when everybody else is shooting shoot in the same direction <laughs> he wanted to be in battle now he don't seem so sure no. <laughs> as he watches everything they have to load up you realize how serious this is it's bad luck too man oh let's go to have a letter written for home he said the other guy was putting his blood type his on blood his That sounds group. smart. Yeah, that's smart, yeah. We need it. This seems like a relatively young group. Yeah. Because we just saw that guy come in. He was mm -hmm. super excited. And then the other guy's coffee guy. Why, yeah, why did they put that tape on that one car? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we saw that, didn't we? So I can see from above where it's going. Yeah. Looks hot there, don't it? Muggy looks like. The radio off. Oh, this guy's working with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got the informant. Mm -hmm. I love you, baby. Oh, get to the phone. Get to Hello? Hello? Oh, no. <laughs> I think my stomach dropped thinking of missing a moment like that. Live. That'd be the hard part, like being like the leader of a group. Well, and, and he was just thrown into it too. They said this is yeah. his first time leading this type of thing out. This is a big deal, trying to capture like important people. I mean, like if I lost a dude in my group, like I'd, that'd weigh heavy on me. Mm. Remember Saving Private Ryan? Mm hmm. Uh oh. It's wild there. Can you hear me, Abdi? Abdi, come in. Abdi. He's acting real weird. He's certain. Abdi, you need to be sure. Our he has to be sure. It's three miles to the target area. We're never off the main road. At the K4. So we're not even certain what building it is exactly. Well, he says he knows which one it is. He's just afraid to get close to it. So then the assault blocking forces and bring him back. Home in an hour. Home in an hour. Whoa. 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 It looks like the Wild West, but like... Look how 
car to need me to drive down these streets. All the militia around, man. Holy cow. He's gonna, look at all the guns. All QRF out of the airspace. And the music they've got oh, playing behind beating. it, you yeah. know what I mean? <sighs> so nervous. And it's Irene. I say again, Irene. Irene is, that was the code word for shoot. Come on. Like, I'm nervous right now. Like, goodness, my hands, my palms are sweaty. I think war movies are the most nervous and scared I get for any movie. It doesn't matter. We could put them up to any scary movie we've seen on this channel. These still scare me more. But with the music behind it, it's making me feel like they're about to roll in there like some bad boy. Go! Yeah, they did awesome with this soundtrack. That's that voodoo child, the Hendrix. War movies always have the toughest, best soundtracks, though. You gotta have something to set the mood. It's wearing a Bee Gees shirt. Bee Gees, yeah. Do they have kids really being lookouts? You see that? He called. Violet. Are they letting them? Yeah, the little kids are telling them. Mm -hmm. So they knew it wasn't going to be necessarily a sneak attack, right? They planned on them seeing them. He said they'll be shooting. That's crazy. They have eyes on the base. I know. The way they just hand out these guns, nothing makes me more nervous than guns in the hands of people who don't know how to use a gun or to be safe. And they look like they're just, here you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you get a gun. You get a gun. You get, you get one. one. You get one. Oh, now it's just like eerie. I know. See how they drop the sound. The visuals in this part right here. They've got a plan to create a barrier. The way they made it sound silent mm. right now. It's... What was he reading? <sighs> and it's like, it's hard because you know, like these militias, they probably have like tunnels to the buildings and like, all kinds. And this is, remember, this is their playing field. This is home mm. turf for them. The way they landed that thing. That's why, like, I would want to be a sniper. Like, <laughs> let me prop 3,000 yards away and just pick people off if I had to. Come on, get them. Y'all done seen me. I'm too jumpy to be to be on the ground. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, that's cool. The way they're coming down from the ropes. You just have to be fearless. Are they gonna get him? Was that dead? Fear! Oh yeah, right! <laughs> Dude, I've just been making coffee for years now. Yeah, now right. Now I'm on ground zero. We'll shoot back! We'll shoot back. Go, Blackburn, go! Go! Blackburn's been waiting for this. Mm -hmm. OPG! Hold on! Oh no! What a move. Did he avoid that? <laughs> Who was that? Blackburn. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. Blackburn! Take oh. up overhead pattern to provide sniper cover. Over. That guy had to avoid that missile. Oh my goodness, no. he was so ready. And like he didn't even get a chance. How can you tell? A hiss means it's close. A snap. They're really following. <laughs> yeah, now they're yeah. shooting at us. And it's crazy that, that they have to be level headed enough to know we can't shoot until we hear this mm. or not just like I'm scared, I'm shooting. Long way to the Humvees! Yeah, we'll get a structure in here! Get them to the target building! Okay. 
And they're just like out in the open. And it's just they have to move him fast. And he's in bad shape. He's got to cover them. Like he had just said, I've been waiting, I've been training all my life for this. It's making me sick even thinking about it. I'm beginning my orbit of the target area. Roger that. And like the way they made that scene, slow motion, the missile coming and a helicopter moving and then seeing it hit the ground. The same time, that was impressive up. by that pilot, man. He had to do it. To be able to move and not get hit. Yeah. And it's just tough because, like, there's civilians just trying to run away Rather and get free. Around, yeah. That's why they have to be careful what they shoot or how they shoot, where they shoot. Come on! Run! Run! <sighs> Not grunge! No, oh. no. Oh! Fuck that! <laughs> <laughs> he said, I want to go back to making coffee. <laughs> The realest scenes I've seen. Hey, yeah, for <laughs> real. Like, that's true feelings coming out right there. <laughs> Some people just ain't cut out for it, no? This is for heroes. Oh my gosh, that minigun. We're moving back to base. Move out! Go, go! Did they get the, all the guys they needed, though? It looks like we did it. They definitely got Blackburn. Well, I'm saying the Somalian guys. They did, said that they got him. Did they? Things going. Things okay, there, I, don't want to I know, because you just want them to get out of there. Mm -hmm. Mission complete. Oh! Yeah. Cool. Well, these dudes, yeah. Blaze your way out of there. Blazing your way out of there. Lighting it up. Roger that. My it's crazy, because, like... They go into this knowing somebody. Yeah, knowing that it could be any one of them. And like sometimes they say it matter of fact because it's like. And like I know, like obviously I don't know, but I'm sure like it's personal. Like you kill one of my good buddies, mm -hmm. like I'm letting everybody have it now. Like I'm spraying this gun every which way. <laughs> yeah, that's who they need to get. Uh oh, they've got a uh, rocket launcher. Two yeah, of them. Whatever that is. No. We got a solar PT. Come on up on your side now. Oh, no. Shoot. Shoot. Gas bird is hit. This is bad. Right, man. What do you do in this situation? Do they have parachutes? He's so he's remaining calm. He obviously knows what he, he knows what he's doing. The way it goes down the spin. Just don't blow up. Please just don't blow up. Man, helicopters crash gnarly. We can live with that. It didn't blow up. I want ground forces to move and secure a new perimeter around that crash site. Can He's moving everybody to help them. Star 401, come inbound and see if you can land at the crash site. Roger. So this is not in the plans. This is mm. now we have to think on their toes. Hank's being dependable, man. No, Hank's being dependable. People count on you. Oh, dang. Oh, no. Child advancing parallel west your position. Be advised, women and children among them. Over. They took women and children with them. Look how oh, many. It's just like the dang. whole city. Not the whole city, but it feels like it. They're all heading to that crash. Are they really? Grenade! It's gonna be hard for them to get there. Yeah, I'm about to say, come on, helicopters. I'm 
throwing every grenade I have, pulling them out, throwing them like Joe Montana, let them fly. You gonna run out of, you are gonna run out of ammunition. You should be leaving, so. All right. Right, they were told this would be 30 minutes or less, less than an hour. Oh, no. just popped out a window. That's what I'm saying, like, man, they know. You know what I'm saying? Like, like home court advantage. Yeah. Hey, Christ! It literally gives me gooseies because I just could not imagine. It's because so much is out of their control. Goodness! And also, it feels like they got the whole population against them. Yeah. Grimes done been hit, hit by two explosions. <laughs> he said, forget this. Who's ducking? Because it's like just a couple squads against like almost a whole city. That's what I'm saying. And it's like just civilians, it feels like, with guns. Oh, man. Oh. We need to haul ass. Oh, and they're all like unconscious. They're in a tough position. They're oh. sitting ducks, literally. And it's like everybody's just gonna keep swarming in on them and nope. Well, I'm sure the Adid, the head dude was probably like, join my militia or don't eat. Yeah. But the only requirement is I'll just give you a gun. Come on, Chalk 4, get there. No, don't go back! He saved him. Get down! Get down! Oh, don't get shot in the back. <laughs> Dang. Oh, my goodness, his hand. I just don't like the feeling of not knowing where they're coming from. They could be coming from anywhere. And just to see them coming up in such like a... Like it's like a big unhinged group. <gasps> Little kids. Oh, that's sad. They don't deserve to see any of that. They don't understand. Oh! That scared me. Oh, he accidentally shot his friend. Oh, his. Before I get to the goddamn drink! You have to slow down. There's a delay. Slow down? We're getting shot at. This is a crash site. Danny, hold on. I no longer have the best view of your. Can you imagine sitting back and listening to this? Imagine how it feels to be back. The ones that are back so far. Blackburn. Blackburn, hear me? Get it to a minute. Blackburn. <laughs> I hate thinking about Blackburn too, because if he's if his heart is still beating, he's in so much pain. Evacuate the injured over. Roger that. Yeah, at least I got some help now. Please don't let us lose nobody else. That man who crawled out from underneath the helicopter and has just been shooting the whole time. Hey, a bad mama jam. And he was shooting up until they came and grabbed him. He was like, I'm still protecting myself and my people. You're protecting the other guys unconscious mm, that's too. That's crazy. <laughs> I could have been a worse spot. It's like middle of like a roundabout, like a four way. Everyone can come from any direction. The two crew chiefs are wounded. This guy's hurt bad. We gotta get out of here. So there was the two pilots are gone, and then there's two winded. Two fives are telling me it's too hot to land the bird. You gotta secure the. It's too hot to land. Yeah. Save four out. Yeah, the it's convoy just, is. Everybody is under such heavy fire. Because the dude gave everybody guns. Figure out another way. This is the the ones that have the um, prisoners. Mm. Oh. Dog, like 
they did not expect this. It was gonna end up like this. Fire your weapon! Ah, what? That was crazy. Tell my girls. Supposed to be like quick in and out. Oh, Look how many we've lost. Is... I saw. Mm. Oh, was he the one who told him not to put the plate in his bag? They're just losing so many. They've been there for so for long. For so long. Were we supposed to go to them? I thought they were supposed to come. I thought that's what they told him to stay here. Just don't fire that thing so close to my head. I can barely hear it as it is. They move back. Just the two of them are about to Just have to move the through this. Just the two of them. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's like. And they have sniper rifles, am I right? They have nothing. You okay? Nelson. Oh, Nelson. Search and rescue bird on station and search. Do you know how many veterans come back with like how many military mm -hmm. people come back with like hearing problems? These with RPGs at 12 o'clock. Can you see go! them? Got them. Give me none. Are they calling them skinnies because they're hungry? I guess. I don't know. We'll kill them just carrying them. Stabilize in here. Roger. Stay they gotta stabilize inside the. It's just like once things went wrong, they've had to think on their toes so much. Oh, they got so many RPGs. I feel like a military like this is more dangerous than one that's tactical. No, we're good. Got a slight vibration in the pedals, but we're good. All right. Who are these guys? They're just like overseeing it, like from the air, like giving directions. It's like the coaches that are in the box. <laughs> yep. We can't have another one go down. We lost the tail rope. We're still trying to secure the last crash. Yeah, they gotta move. Like they're literally pinned against the wall. Sword! See what I mean? Like they're just Dang, good Dang. bro. Accuracy. Y'all, y'all. Grimes. My guys, let's go! Like, it's just chaos. Complete, <sighs> utter chaos. chaos everywhere. And did you see how well thought out that plan was at the beginning? When they drew it yeah, out for I us? Yeah, I thought it was oh, just going to yeah. be oh, in yeah, and out cool. of there. So you can that you can't plan for everything. So good. many moving factors in war. You literally you can't plan for everything. And now we don't even know if anyone's alive. Yo, get y'all's tails down here, man. That's I'd be I'd be upset about that. They have to stay up there. They're the eyes, right? They know the grand scheme. All right, get around. But there was somebody alive in there. Yeah. Wasting time here. All right. Refit, max out ammo. Were these the guys who just made it back? Mm-hmm. Sizemore, where the hell do you think you're going? For you guys. Not with that cast on your nuts. <gasps> oh, he's in a right. Oh, he's gonna cut the cast off. I was like, he ain't about to cut his hand off. <laughs> I thought he was gonna cut his hand off. <laughs> yeah. That makes a difference. It's your call. The Brotherhood and military is just, you know what I mean? You can't leave nobody behind. You always have to have each other's back. Ain't, ain't no other Brotherhood like it. Fire up that arm. So they're pretty much having to go all forces in at this point. So unexpected. And imagine being one of the ones who just came back and then it's like, I gotta go back into that. Oh, they said the blood hasn't even dried yet. And we're about to take these back out. But I mean, if I'm in their position, I'm like, no, let's go back. Let's go back. You got some ammo! Watch that sword! Hop in! 
Look go at get these people guys. volunteering now. Yeah, we gotta go get our guys. He decided to go. <laughs> All of this because this evil man wants to starve his people. That way, I think! Oh, yes. Oh, because he can't hear. Oh, I'm so I'm scared so nervous for, these for these two. two. These yeah. two are my most nervous, like... So there's another one. So he's solo. Oh, he better go with the other two. Shooting at the wrong one. Oh! It's your it! You fucking ass! <laughs> I would have been hot too. Is oh, you? You, we almost killed you. Fuck you, come to me! <laughs> Do you know how unfortunate that would have been? Your own guy shoots you. Now, his response was what was funny. Nah. Nelson. Cover this way. Man, we are gonna need night vision. No, Sam can't hear nothing. Which way? I thought you might know. But I think that army guy, when is deaf, I think he was in Saving Private Ryan also. I got it! No, oh, how brave, how brave to step out there. Whoever gets reloaded fastest. Oh, gosh. oh. Get back in cover. Come on! It's crazy, but nice to see them be able to find humor yeah, in these I moments because yeah. that's what keeps them going and you see them not just being terrified the whole time. Roger that. They said they can't just watch. They want to go in, but they're going in. It could be for a long time until they get help. Ah! Oh. <laughs> This movie makes the missiles look when they're coming yeah. is nuts. Like just the camera angles alone in this is. Get that truck and drive. Cut up shot, Colonel. Everybody's shot. We need the prisoners. Everybody's shot. From JOC, you need to turn around and head back. Through all that they just fought through. Get the drive. Like they're just popping at it like doors. Every little and... corner. Oh, glass. It's like there's so many, it's like watching ants swarm. Yeah. It doesn't seem like we're getting out of this. Nothing's going right. At this point, man, we're going to have to blow the whole city up. Mm -hmm. Like, find a way to get all those, the... Those helicopters have to land and leave because they're getting blown up. Like, find a way to get all those the innocent they civilians just... out. Dropped only two of them off though. I don't know if you saw that. Only two of them hopped off that plane to come and help. Two of them decided to come up against all this. C two were to six four crash site secure. I know war is a terrible time to see what humanity can be, but like moments like that when you go to save your friend and pull him out of the helicopter mm. and say, hey, "We're gonna get, we're gonna take care of you." Like, that also life. restores you, shows you how good people are. All right, stop, 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 man, stop. <laughs> my gosh. This wow. is crazy. Oh my gosh. Wipe the blood out of his eyes. Colonel, you can't see shit. Can't. They can't. They can't. No. We need to come back to base, rearm, and regroup, yes. and then we can go back out. Yeah, you everybody's gotta gotta go back. Roger, return to base. We're going home! Thank you. At that point, he had to look. He looked around him and, and saw the condition. No matter how bad you want to help, there's nothing that he could have done. But the deal is, everybody's still so scattered out. The convoy's headed back to base camp. Oh, no, that makes sense, don't it? And they're just stuck. Conserve your ammo. Only shoot up what you can hit. Oh, right, they don't have much ammo left. I like it. That That's Will like, Smith movie, the apocalyptic one. The Iron Legend. Iron Legend. It's like when all the zombies are just like ravenous, like raging at you. It's like watching them swarm them like that. 
But there's like there's even people behind. It's like civilians just watching. Well, like one the of them, shoot. they remember they put kids and women with them, so it'd be harder for them to shoot at. I'm like, what the heck? That was oh, how y'all women and kids. Rocky, last mag. Last mag. Everybody is in such bad situations. Yeah, literally everybody. This is making me like, sick. Even, even the I women saw. are about running, running around with guns. They still don't know we've gone in. Look, we have stirred up the hornet's den. Yeah, that's what it's like. It's got four wheels and armor. Get it. Get everything. They stirred up so much. I didn't know Somali had that many people. Golly. He said it perfectly. We stirred up the hornet's nest. That's what it looks like. Yeah, literally. Now they're just getting swarmed that's what you got. by angry, like, You got mamas out and kids out there shooting. Yeah. It's like they don't even think. They just act. <laughs> These people aren't getting out of here. They're not getting out of here. They're not they're getting out of here. It makes me sick. Oh, that's disgusting. And I guess it makes me more mad because these guns have just been given to anybody with no training and like these are trained heroes being taken out by just like idiots. And you're just like at that point like like you know you're you know you're not gonna make it. It's just like you even understand what you're doing. Gosh, those people are so ra like they're just ravenous the way they just attacked them. Like I said, at this point, um, I'm dropping bombs on the entire city. <gasps> Why? Because you saw the women were getting in on it. Yeah, because like women, the kids are even trying to kill my guys. So at this point, it's like I I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking. I don't know. What do you? There's do? rules. There's rules. And I know there's rules, but you got every person in this whole entire city from men to babies firing at you. Stand, it's roadblock after roadblock. You have to find us another route. Over. Cause like their roadblocks are literally people. It's people, yeah. People throwing rocks. Kalo 1-1, request permission to move to crash site number two on foot, over. <sighs> on foot. On foot? Now the town right there feels empty. After I'm finished with this, I'll whip you boys up some margaritas. Blended, no salt. Is that bad? I don't know. From Modern Family, From when Modern I heard him family. talk. When I heard him talk, but I can't ever see him playing a serious role. No. He will always be the dad from Modern Family. Hey, watch out for skinnies. They're all over the rooftop. They're in prayer, but not for much longer. So that's why it's quiet, because they're all in prayer. Oh. These three guys, I completely forgot about them for a minute. Hold your fire, we're coming in. Okay, but at least they can get... Listen closely, when you get there, you're gonna turn around and you're gonna cover me, okay? He's gotta learn to read lips like that. It's important you understand that. Okay, you ready? I'm afraid he doesn't understand. I am too. <laughs> Oh, I don't like this running out in the open. You know, and it's so far without being able to be covered. <gasps> no, 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 no! Oh! No! No, don't! <laughs> Get it off of me! What is it? Yeah, I don't know what he was carrying. Gosh. Let me see it. Alright. All right. All right. I would not want to see it. <laughs> Whoa. Anybody comes through that door, you give them two in the chest and one in the head. You understand? It's crazy they still have to fight under conditions like this. All I can do is sit, but they'll still use it. Yeah. He doesn't get to a hospital in a half hour, he's in trouble. Half hour. 
just gonna have to hold on. Goodness. I hear him cry. So these are the guys who are sneaking it on foot. Just total war zone everywhere. You have to remember, we still have that one guy as a prisoner of war. Oh, shoot. It is imperative that we move them out of the hostile area and into the safe zone. Literally, you gotta go now. It can't take a couple hours. No. A couple hours, they'll all be gone. Without victory, there can be no peace. There will always be killing. So they will not stop. I still wish I had people to be so evil. Mike Durant, we won't leave you behind. They're going around the city, putting that over the intercom deal from the chopper. Mm. All right, you understand? Morphine. I can't. Oh, no morphine. No. I need you to hold the wound open, keep pressure on the top of the. No numbing, no morphine. Nothing. I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Stop, I know. Three. <laughs> <laughs> They're having to dig their hands in it. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. I feel it. I get to shove his hand up. I stop. I saw. I heard. Clamp. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. I got a clamp. Gnarly. Gnarly. Holding. Mm -hmm. Move your hand. Yeah. Super gnarly. Oh my gosh. I remember when I busted. No. Remember no. When they put their fingers all the way up in my knee. And they, they were like touching my quad muscle through my kneecap. Can we stop? <laughs> I'm not good with this kind of stuff. Fix it. <laughs> that foot. I know it's not a problem. Come on, come on. The guy was watching him though. It makes me feel afraid they're about to like ambush or something. Kidding. They found them. Oh my Oh gosh. shoot. They've got one guy who's not gonna be able to walk. When is there gonna be some kind of hope? Well, those things said the mountain something was gonna come help. All the vehicles. I'm getting upset because you like you know you want to see light at the end of the tunnel and it just feels like this whole time they've just been the underdogs yeah they gotta take them out mm, right there the guys that's too those, powerful yeah on those rpgs or whatever did it stealthy, stealthy man Now they're about to use it. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was cool. Uh oh, big dog. That's the big dog too. Yeah, I know. Hey, that was the guy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we here. Okay, now. the music's ramping Let up. I'm getting a little up. bit more excited. We here now. Took down that guy. That guy oh. was mean. Who the guy in the all black that had yeah. the ammunition? Who are these four cats? Fire over. Back to that little one. Hold your fire. Jump in. And they're like rangers and marines. Like them is the bad dudes. This, they, they've been referring to these guys as Delta. One will have to mark the target with infrared strobes in preparation for airstrike. Right, now okay. we're talking. Airstrike. I mean, I like, it's about the airstrike. I mean, I feel like we should have did this a while ago, but... But they couldn't get the troops moving that fast. He didn't tell them about it. This was supposed to be like a kind of like secret mission. Tenth Mountain UN. I'd have to go back out again. I like that guy. He was yeah, talking to I like him a lot. He said, you do not have to go back out again. He gave him that look like. Like, I know war movies are scary, then it also makes you feel better knowing you got, like, heroes like this. Mm -hmm. That they can make stories like this. And it's just like. That's keeping you safe. I couldn't leave my brother out there, you know? Like, I was. You okay, Twans? No. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, oh. Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, shit. Hold the wound. They're fighting so hard for him. 
This is supposed to be a 30 minute operation. It's been almost a full day. It's been almost a full day. Shall we? Hey, that, that, that was a good little pick me up though. He's like, hey, your men are still here. You've got, yeah, you've he got said them this you can't, far. He also said you can't control that. Yeah. He said you've done a good it's job. Especially work. remember this guy thrown into it. He needed to be reminded that not everything's in his hands and he's doing a good job. Oh, it's nighttime. It's amping up now. You see it? How do you not see it? Oh my gosh. Ew. Man, this, the bravery is just insane. There, you gotta see it. Okay. What it next? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Light him up. Always makes me feel bad saying that, but at this I point, know, right? I know does, I feel bad saying it, but. <coughs> Ready to move! move, move. The Mountain UN team. Five minutes! The cowboy's gonna be here in five minutes! Five minutes probably feels like eternity. Oh my gosh. But they've made it this long, it's like just five more minutes. The film work on that was cool. Oh, the film work in this entire movie has been. 205. God. Sergeant Evansman! I heard you guys needed a little. <laughs> <laughs> I want to walk! Yeah, I would too. Let's go! He wants to walk out of there. Mm -hmm. They're still just under so much fire. Just gonna have to cram into every possible space! Okay. Have to cram in. Oh! We go when I'm ordered to, soldier! God, he's getting fired on the fired, crazy. Fired up. He, dude, saying just get us the heck out of here. Did they realize? When are they gonna realize that one guy's gone? You do what you have to do. Roger. That's honor. Honor, respect. Man. That's honor. Go, go, go. So three. I mean, it's been three hours since it was the last when it started. Right hole. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Feels like we're getting out of here. Sir. No, no, it's full. Come on, come on, come on. Everything's full. Right, hold it up. Hold it up. That very first helicopter going down, man, caused a lot to go wrong. So when that guy said we lost the initiative or the intention, he meant we lost. Our initial, our initial, initial plan. Right, we yeah. have to do other things now. You have to remember that even though a lot of the people in the city were fighting against them, there are people there that weren't for there sure. for it, weren't <clears throat> armed. I mean, in every war, you have, you have that. You do it! What Don't are you, you doing? Damn, do it! <laughs> oh, she picked up the gun. He didn't want to do that. It's just like, again, they're surrounded. Everyone's all on them again. And it's like, you don't even, not even looking for a uniform to fight against, right? It's everybody. It could be anything. Man, they've been through so much. They're on no sleep, no food. It's been a trauma. 24 hours of this battle. Look at them cheering. <laughs> Look at them cheering. <laughs> So I think maybe only in the city was a hostile because remember they said we're going to pass through a lot of friendly neighborhoods mm -hmm. on the way there. These are the people they're fighting for right here. <laughs> wow. So much went wrong, like I said. <sighs> Can't plan for everything. It's gonna taste so good. Ah, shit. Pull it, missed your jugular by about three millimeters. Don't all move. Right, all right. Yeah, it's grazed the side of his neck. He got so lucky. Coming in to hell. <laughs> I 
This is head honcho. Mm. Coming in to help. Oh, it's being thrown in there. He he did a good job. <laughs> so nobody asked to be a hero. It just sometimes works out that way. <laughs> Hug them for me and give them both a kiss goodnight for daddy. <laughs> Delta Sergeants Gary Gordon and Randy Schuhart were the first soldiers to receive the Medal of Honor. He was released after 11 days. I was wondering about the Durant guy. Two weeks later, President Clinton withdrew Delta Force and the Rangers from Somalia. Major General William F. Garrison accepted full responsibility for the outcome of the raid. On August 2nd, 1996, Warlord Mohammed Farah Adid was in Mogadishu the following day. General Garrison. What did it say after that? Uh, there was, there was something on our there. screen that took off the last word. <sighs> wow. That was a remarkable, remarkable, remarkable movie. I mean, the acting, the way the scenes were set up, the camera angles, editing, everything about that was just absolutely remarkable. I mean, that's literally what so much I could say about this film here. Oh, and... It, it makes you emotional, you know, yeah. you know whenever we do war movies, because, you know, mo most of them, like we said before the film started, are, you know, based on true events, and, you know, to see true events like this happening, where I feel like all odds were against them pretty much the whole entire movie. Yeah, and, you know, a lot of times war movies are eerie, but in this one, I'm going to shout out the filmmakers for it, because there are moments where... They were in the helicopter and they dropped all sound and you could just hear yes. just a bit of the helicopter or where you saw the missiles coming, the angle that they took, or even just the bullets falling from the gun. They paired, they like paid so much attention to detail and it added so much onto the film. But storyline wise, I know it was based off a, a, a true story, mm -hmm. so it's not really a storyline, but the way that they were able to, you know, give us this entire movie and tell this story was phenomenal the acting was great you loved every single one of them it was hard to watch any of them just, be just thinking you're about to go in do something real quick and come be back home in an hour and it literally turned into a whole new day a whole new week like you said the right whole there town. At the end. it was the like, whole city and it was like literally what the what soldiers we had like you said the entire city from old men down to literally little kids women everything in between like all odds were lit against them. They, I mean, like you said, they had no uniform. It was just, if it was it someone, if, if it was a Somali, like you had to feel like they were a threat. But a lot of them still kept their cool and so, mm. and were calm and collected and knew what their roles were. So that was really, really fun to see. Well, it was interesting to say, I'm going to say anything about this movie was fun, but it was, it, it had moments where it just grabbed onto your heart. And war movies are always extremely humbling, but you I think this, that brotherhood. Well, yeah, but then you also know what type of like the people that are signing up to protect you right. and it, like I said it makes you feel good because you see how tough and how good of hearts these people obviously have to even sign up to do this but to see them keep that during even the war worst time even in the worst situation and have each right. other's yeah. back and be like hey like you know when somebody's hurt like when he was pulling out of the helicopter he said hey I'm gonna get you out of here like they making sure you're keeping that person calm it was just you still see humanity and right. that's that was really nice to see i think this was a great and then at the end you know he asked me he was like give me a no bs answer how long is it gonna take he said i can't tell you that he said do whatever you do whatever it needs to be no done man no behind. man is getting left behind so that that just shows that mentality that brotherhood and, you know again we thank all of you watching this that served in whatever branch you know, like you said at the end, you know, not nobody really wants to be a hero. It just kind of turns, it just happens, and it turns line. out that way. Wow! And then yeah. that ending quote, and then the beginning quote was the only ones who have seen the end of war or the ones who have passed. I, I'm paraphrasing, right. right? But that is eerie too, if you think about it. And then you know, like I, like I've mentioned in other war movies, like my my grandfather never liked talking about you know army stuff with me, and then it made perfect sense when that guy broke it down. He, he he was like, you know, they go home and they ask me why. Nobody's gonna understand. Nobody's gonna understand. No matter how I break it down, they won't understand. Stand, you so. could watch it on film. You could watch it through a screen. There's no way we could possibly even no. begin to fathom. But thank you guys so thank much for so this much. suggestion. 
this was a phenomenal film and can't wait to see what else you guys have in store for us. As we always send you guys out of here, we love you, we thank you, we appreciate you. And remember, every single day that you wake up, it is a blessing and that you are blessed. And for your new family members, hit that subscribe button down below. We welcome you all to the RSR family, but you have a goal every day just like we do. Let them know, Mom. All right, guys, all you got to do is make somebody smile. We love you guys. Hope you have a fantastic day. Another thank you to all those veterans out there. Until next time, we'll see you guys later.